Catherine in Australia writes in with the following question. TJ, I have a brief radio interview tomorrow that they will also film and may televise later, dependent on content. So I'll be with headphones but won't have a presenter to look at. Reviewing what is online, what most people seem to do is look downwards towards the mic slightly. Is that the best thing to do? Is that what you recommend? Any other suggestions? Much appreciated. Catherine, you're right. You do see a lot of people sort of staring down at a microphone, but it looks weird. Don't do that. I do not recommend that. What happens is that if people are being interviewed on Skype, typically, or some service like that, it's not that they're looking at their microphone. It's that they are looking down at the screen. So the camera's on top of their computer. They're now looking at the center of the computer. So it looks odd. It looks distant. My recommendation is if you're going to be around a video camera for any interview and there is no reporter present, just look at the camera. You can't go wrong. Right now, it looks as though I'm looking at you. I'm talking to you. And it would have a very different effect if you saw me staring over here the whole time. I might be saying the same content, but by staring off in space, it looks weird. It's distancing. It's disorienting. So my recommendation, if they are, and I'm assuming this is a Skype interview, although I guess it's possible a radio network could send a technician with a video camera, it strikes me as unlikely. Either way, if there's a camera present, just look at it as if you were talking to one human being. If you occasionally want to glance down for a second, that's fine. In the beginning of this segment, you saw me reading because I wanted to read your letter and get it exactly right. But if you're simply answering questions, look at the camera. You'll come across more believable, more likable, more genuine. Another problem with looking down at the mic or the screen is people will assume you're reading, that you're not being sincere, that you don't really know this. A couple of other tips to make it go even smoother. If it is a radio interview or a podcast interview being captured through Skype, you mentioned you'd have headphones on. And the reason, of course, for that is if you're just using outside speakers for the computer and the built-in microphone, it's going to be echoey, there's feedback. So the next step up, and it's not a big step up, just use earbuds and a headset and a microphone. It will sound better. But it does look kind of weird to have these dangly things falling down, the earbuds. So that's not what I recommend, but it's better than nothing. One step up, especially if you are a professional communicator, what I recommend and what I use is an earpiece. This is an earpiece just like what professional broadcasters use, where it goes in my ear, it then loops around you see this little curly thing like a, a telephone, old-fashioned telephone line. It loops behind my ear. I then clip it on the back of my shirt or jacket. It goes behind me. So now for the video camera, it's a clean, neat appearance. And of course, I have a, a clip-on uh, lav mic right here. Now, this thing, you may be thinking, well, TJ, I'm not a professional broadcaster. This cost $8.95 from Amazon. So if you think you're going to be doing interviews on a regular basis using video through Skype video, Google Hangouts, I do recommend you get the earpiece. That way you don't have to have your speakers on and you don't have to have this ridiculous looking big headset earphones or the earbuds down. It's a cleaner, neater appearance will make you come across more professional. Good luck with the interviews, Catherine, and thanks for the question.